Hey, and welcome back. It's another business owner spotlight. It is the chance for me to get with amazing, incredible business owners and put the spotlight on them to get them the chance to talk about themselves and what they do and how they got there. But more importantly, to give you the chance to learn from incredible business owners who have incredible stories and have amazing information that can make your life so much easier. Now, I've got to tell you guys, so we've been doing these spotlights for a little while now. And uh, it has been a little bit, it, you know, back and forth, right? My goal is to get to 100. And I have to say, there have, been, there have been some people that it's been just, it's just been fun to schedule with. And I have to say, I have found that the people I have to work the hardest to schedule with are some of the coolest interviews. So I am extremely excited to have Renata with me here. Renata, welcome to the Business Center Spotlight. Hello. <laughs> So for our listeners, first of all, to explain my little comment, she was in Las Vegas, Paris, California. Where else? You were everywhere. I went to London, I think, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you know at this point, you know it's got to be good. So what do you do? What do you, how did you get started doing what you do? And for our listeners, <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> so what I do, I kind of merge with friends, network with friends or associates or other entrepreneurs. And I'm kind of like the silent partner or help build their relationship or help give them their business proposal, their business plan. And I become a certain percentage of ownership in that business. So that's what I do. So I have a nice little portfolio of different things from beauty products, from transportation, logistics, from everything, literally, <laughs> that's in my portfolio, even rental properties and investment properties. I do a little bit of everything. So that's awesome. Now, so I did not know this before we start talking and I'm going to get totally distracted just asking my questions because um, you're doing, uh, this is something I'm starting to do more and more is pick up, you know, part ownership in additional companies. And it's cool. It's a lot of fun. I'm learning as I go and I'm learning a lot of things. Um, but uh, what? How did you get into that? Because is that something you just woke up and were like, hey, I want to start building a portfolio of businesses? Oh, that's funny. So I, I used to work, well, I still work in corporate America. And at the time I was a branch manager. And one of my clients was like, Renata, I need help with my business. And I have a friend, he needs help with his business. I was like, okay, I can help you to structure it, you know, get you the business proposal, have it set up for you can get grants and get funding from lenders. And, and when I was, uh, evaluating, I'm doing the marketing analysis, I'm doing his six months plan, I'm doing his two year, five year, I'm just like, hey, I'm doing all the work, I can actually get a percentage of what's going on <laughs> at the same time while I'm help building it up. So that's how it eventually started. And there was a clothing line with a client up in California. And one of the, you would not believe it's one of the um, boys to men, Devante, he was, um, they were starting the clothing line at that time in California. So that was my first client <laughs> and that was my first business plan and stuff. So it, they didn't want to kick it off. So I had to let him know. I had to let Kevin know that he was the one that started all of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. So how do you pick which businesses? Cause I would assume your, your desk is inundated almost like an angel investor, right? With, Hey, let me build my business. How do you exactly. pick which would want? So one, I like to, I'm hands-on, so I like to help build it together. And I have to make sure that their mission is in line with what my mission is as well. So if their mission is not what I'm trying to do, it would not, it's not just about money. It would not align with what it is that I'm looking for doing in the future. And of course I have like my guidelines. It can't be something too, can't be anything illegal. It can't be anything <laughs> too crazy at the uh, works, but something that's in line with my vision for myself and as well as for whatever business that I have going on. Nice. That's cool. So then what's, um, what's probably, so you're, wow. Um, I'm just thinking like, you're probably incredible to interview for this because you've helped build so many businesses. What's the biggest mistake you see people make? <laughs> oh my God. So the biggest mistake that people make, everything, having your ducks in a row and building, having the right people on your team. That is so, so, so important. 
super important. Having your the attorney, having your um, accounting all together, and the people that's in your inner circle, make sure you guys are all on the same page. Because if it's mm -hmm. not, it's going to cause conflict throughout the whole business. So that was the major, the biggest um, thing I can give someone, advice I can give. You know, it's funny um, that you, you mentioned that one because um, I had the chance to meet Scott Duffy earlier this year and I went to him and asked the same thing because he kind of does his uh, uh, burgers and business show. And so he was, you know, he goes in, he basically takes on part ownership, kind of like what you do. And I asked him, I said, you know, how do you pick? And he basically said the exact same thing. He said, their mission and mine has to align and we have to get along. I've got, you know, basically the, the team, he didn't talk about the team like you just did, but he was like, we have to be, we have to be friends because we're going to, you know, we're going to be hanging out a lot and yeah. we're going to have, we have to know that we're going to together in three months. Exactly. It's like you said, it's someone that you're going to bed with, basically. So you're going to know their ins and outs. You're going to know their habits. If they're not good at managing money, you're going to find that out very quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to mess with your money, too. Exactly. And you don't want to butt heads with the money part. So. <laughs> no, I have found that the most rational, reasonable people lose their heads when there's enough money on the table. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> I am very cool. I'm very laid back. But when you mess with my money, I kind of turn into a whole different person. <laughs> you know what? It was hilarious. So I've never, I've never really had anybody mess with, with, with my money before until recently, and someone did. And uh, when I got the 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 P and L, oh my gosh, I went to town on them. I was like, that was my money you spent, and absolutely not acceptable. They were like. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I I had never like realized like I didn't realize that side of me would come out either. Yeah, you you'll find out what comes out when it comes to money. <laughs> we will we'll agree with that one. So, what is your goal? Where do you want to like? What do you want to do? I I would ask your mission, but I don't know if that one uh, that one's too personal to share on here. Um, my goal, I well, this year will be my final break or I'm still going to network with other people, but 2018, I'm super, super excited. I'm going to be launching my own stuff. So um, I have a lot in the works and I've been doing a lot of groundwork for um, 2017. And when 2018 comes, I'm going to be out with a bang. And I don't want to say too much, but I'm thinking about, I have a book. I'm doing some more investment properties. Well, not necessarily investment properties, but Airbnbs. And I'm going to be doing products. So I'm be doing some more some products that come out on Amazon. So I'm just super, super excited. And yeah, that's what coming for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cool. Wow. I didn't realize I was meeting the next Oprah Winfrey here. Um, <laughs> I don't know about Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always tells me they're like, you know, Stephanie, you're like Tony Robbins meets Oprah Winfrey meets J.R.R. Rowley or yeah, whatever J.R.R. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter, I can't remember now. But they're always like, you're like a combination. I'm like, okay, so maybe maybe you're the same way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm super excited. 2018 is going to be an amazing year. So I, like I said, it's about team, building a team. And of course, I'm getting the most, the people that's the closest to me to kind of help me and work on things. So my mom is all involved. My family is involved in a couple of things. And of course, my girlfriends, they went to London we're always brainstorming. I have so many ideas and it's kind of hard for me to kind of put them all out. So I give some of those ideas to other people. <laughs> yes, I do too. I'll talk to people and I'll drop a nugget and be like, let's see if they do anything with it. Like that's it. Every exactly. <laughs> um, I had a question. Oh, I remember. So have you in all of this, how long have you been doing this for a while now? Um, I started when I was 25. Okay. So I have another story. So when I started when I was 25, I was working in corporate America, but I lost my job in corporate America what, mm -hmm. when I was 27. So at that time, I literally, it's, when they say it rains, it pours, I lost everything. When I say everything, I had re six rental properties at the time that was gone. I had a partnership with a subway. The tornado dropped it down. <laughs> it was just a crazy year. That was just a crazy year. And I went into like a real depression like state because I literally lost my homes, my cars, my businesses, and I just had to regroup and refocus and get back on track. 
So. Wow. Okay. Which totally takes me to that next. The question I was going to ask was, has there ever been a point where you've looked at it and just said, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. That was the point. <laughs> How did I actually said a couple of things. I said, I'm never going to start a business. I don't want to work in corporate America anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to go do? <laughs> I just gave up. I was like, I just throw in the towel. I don't even want to go through this anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. What got you through that? How did you? Obviously, you're still doing businesses. You're still working in corporate America. How did you, how did you survive? Like, I don't want to say, how did you survive? I don't want to insinuate you were suicidal, but how did you, how did you get back on your feet? What got you through that? Family and my faith. My family, um, which is my mom and my dad, and then my faith in God. I prayed every morning and just asked God for direction, where he want me to go, where he want to lead me. And then my mom was there, of course, praying with me. And, you know, sometimes you just need that loving arms to kind of wrap around you and say, everything's going to be okay. This is just a step back. And normally yeah. a setback is just a setup for something much, much greater and something much, much bigger. So I'm a testament to that. And that's exactly what happened. I have to say, you know, I started a gratitude exercise. It was only supposed to be a 30 day exercise. It's still going. I've been doing it like 75 days now. Um, and one of the things that keeps coming up is I'm so grateful for my faith. I'm so grateful for my faith. Cause I don't know where I'd be without that. Exactly. You need to go towards something that's greater than you. Because you know you, to a certain point, can only achieve certain things. But if you know there's something bigger than you, you can go outside yourself and reach toward whatever it is that that is that you want to achieve. I love that. That was a beautiful golden nugget. I'm trying to write it down. Go towards something greater than you. That was, guys, replay that real quick. Those of you on the recording, scroll back, replay that. That was awesome. Go towards something greater than you. That's fantastic. Um, I don't even have anything to add to that. So <laughs> what I will say is, um, do you have anything, any um, words of wisdom? This has been a great interview. I got, I got such good information. We could pro I'm scared to keep going because I'm afraid you and I would just keep talking and this will <laughs> be an hour and a half long interview. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's do this. Do you have any final words of wisdom for someone out there in the trenches struggling, needing, you know, some advice, some feedback, trying to build a business, trying to make it work, what would you tell them? Well, I'm going to give you two nuggets. One, of course, um, put God first. And I know some people will be like, well, that's, that's cliche and that's normal. But for me, I write God letters. I don't just say and do a prayer. I write him a letter and say, dear God, and say, God, you know what? This is what's going on. This is what I need you to do. And this is what I need to happen. Um, show me the direction you want me to go in, meet me, um, introduce me to the right people, have the right person to call me, have the right person to text me. And yeah. half the time after I do that, I promise you the right, exactly what I needed at that moment comes my way. Yeah. It never, never fails. And then the, and of course, by me writing the letters, it's also writing my vision. I'm writing down what it is that I want. Right. I make it plain. So I can always go back and refer to it and say, hey, remember on, um, October the 10th, I told you, God, that I need this. <laughs> you still haven't came through on this yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting on that one. That one still on. <laughs> and then the second thing I want people to know, whether it's a bit, whether you want to have your own business, if you want to be a teacher, want to um, get your degree, your master's, your PhD, whatever the goal or whatever your destiny is in life, just remember it's not just about you. It's actually bigger than you. Someone is depending on you to fulfill your dreams and to fulfill your destiny. So you just have to keep going. I know it gets hard. Just keep going and keep believing and keep the faith because someone is really counting on you to achieve those goals. I like that. That's a really good note to end on, guys. I'm just going to kind of wrap that up there and just say, hey, if you know somebody like Renata that I should put the spotlight on, send them my way. My contact info is below. Thank you guys for joining us for another incredible business owner spotlight. Renata, thank you for taking time to join us for this. This was awesome. Thank you for having me. I feel honored. Well, I'm I'm glad because I know I know we had a lot of a lot of back and forth trying to coordinate schedules. So I am I'm glad that it was worthwhile for you too. Thank you. To listeners, 
you have greatness inside of you. As she said, it is not just about you. You have a huge future, but I can guarantee you one thing. You're the only person who can decide to go out there and make your life count for something. So go out there and make it great.